Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the easiest ways to increase your vending machine sales. So the internet, specifically YouTube, is riddled with people starting vending machine businesses, grabbing cash from the machines, and it looks very lucrative and it looks like it's pretty low effort to run a successful vending machine business. However, what YouTube and the internet really doesn't tell you is that a lot of your vending machine sales depend on the location your vending machines are at. However, today we're going to be talking about three specific ways to increase your vending machine sales without having to move your vending machines to a different location. Now, just as a little background, I've owned and operated vending machines myself. I even have a video on the channel talking about my first experience owning a snack and a drink machine. You can check out that video, it's in the description below. So I've operated, I've sold, and I hope to own more vending machines in the future. And I've learned a ton from those experiences running and operating vending machines. But essentially, vending machines are pretty simple straightforward side hustle they don't require a ton of your time you essentially just need to restock the machines and the first tip I have for you is to get credit card readers on your machines now a lot of machines already have credit card readers but a lot don't and honestly if you don't have credit card machine readers on your machines you're missing out on a lot of sales because honestly who carries cash around anymore I think in my wallet I have a 20, maybe a $50 bill that's just been sitting there for years that I've just never used. Because everything is used with a piece of plastic, those credit cards and debit cards, right? So getting credit card readers is really gonna help you increase sales because they don't wanna buy things in cash a lot of the time. For example, if I have a product that's $1.75 and I have a $5 bill, I'm gonna get three bills back and coins back. I don't want to carry all that extra stuff around just because I wanted a snack, right? The risk to reward ratio just isn't there. So people would much prefer to use a credit card or debit card and not have to worry about carrying cash around, especially coins. Now credit card readers are pretty simple to install on most machines. You can look up YouTube videos on how to do that. If you're not feeling that adventurous, you can hire people to do it for you for a, for a little bit extra. But credit card re readers are gonna run you a couple hundred dollars, so they're not like cheap free money, right? They cost a little bit, but they're definitely worth it in the long term if you're keeping these machines and expecting to make a lot of profit or sales off of them. It's just gonna really increase those sales the most out of all the tips I'm gonna talk to you today about. And now granted, there also is a monthly fee to have the credit card reader because that reader needs to connect to the internet. So you pay a little bit of a service fee. Generally, that's not gonna be crazy expensive. It's definitely gonna be less than $20 a month in most areas, probably closer to $10 a month. So it's not crazy expensive to maintain the readers, but it's definitely worth having for the increased sales. They also allow you to track the sale of products a little bit easier. So that way you can know what's selling and, and, and track things that way, right? Now the second tip I have for you today is pretty simple. Just make sure your machines are well maintained. Super common sense, but it goes a long way and a lot of people overlook this aspect. And I'm specifically talking about the appearance of your machine. Just make sure that they look nice, honestly. When I, first, when I bought my first snack and drink machine, I, the snack machine had one of the top lights was out. So you, the, the, so the top two or three rows of product were a lot darker than the rest. It just didn't look very appealing for customers passing by. And then also make sure that you're dusting the machines inside and out of the machines, as well as the glass. Make sure you're wiping that glass down so there's not fingerprints, smudges, dust all over the machine. It goes a long way in helping build trust for the customer. I know it sounds silly, but it's true. Because people walking by see a dusty old vending machine, they're gonna be like, ah, I wonder how long that bag of chips has been in there for. And it's gonna deter them from making purchases at your machine. Because one, they probably don't trust it to dispense properly. They think it's just gonna eat their money. Or two, they're not sure how old that product is. So moral of the story, make them look nice. Tip number three is also pretty straightforward, but makes a big difference and a lot of people overlook this as well. But make sure that you're supplying product that people actually want. For example, if you have a machine located at a lumber yard, for example, a lot of your customers are gonna be employees at the lumber yard 
doing manual labor all day or other manual labor workers coming to pick up lumber. So if you think you can just fill your snack machine full of healthy snacks, that's probably not the greatest option because in my experience, people that are working manual labor jobs don't care as much because they're out in the sun, they're working all day long, so they just they just want their Snickers bar or their Coke. So make sure your, your machines have product targeted towards your demographic. You know, another example is if you, you know, have a vending machine at a retirement home, you're probably not gonna sell as many energy drinks and you're probably gonna wanna stock it more with diet sodas. Just be aware of the type of people that are gonna be frequenting or buying things from your machine. It makes a big difference. Because if you have things that they want, they're probably gonna buy it, right? And along with that, make sure you're taking note of the product that's being sold and the product that's not being sold. Don't keep replenishing the product that takes forever to sell. Stock it with things that are selling well or that you think could do better than other products that aren't. I've literally seen people put clipboards with pen and paper on the side of their vending machines with a survey asking what types of snacks or drinks they want in the machines. And that's a great way to quickly judge what people want in your machines. So summarizing everything together, make sure your machines have credit card readers, they're well maintained, they look clean, and that they have product that people will actually buy and want. Hopefully that was helpful for you if you're thinking about starting a vending machine business or you already own some vending machines. Those are simple tips that are gonna go a long way to increasing your vending machine sales in the long term. They don't take a long time to accomplish, so they're definitely worth it for you as a vending machine owner. I appreciate it so much. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, smash the like button. Thank you and have a great rest of your day.